Okay, today we're going to be looking at um, some of the Year 13 Pure Integration. Uh, a little thing on integration by substitution. We're just going to do indefinite integrals, so there's no limits at the moment. Um, if there were, well basically, wherever you see the x in the function we have to integrate, we have to substitute for something else. <coughs> the first ones I'm going to look at um, are also known as integration by inspection, um, because you can think about something that differentiates to give you something that looks like that apart from a constant and it's true for all of the ones in question one because if I consider what we're going to do basically we're going to use a substitution for whatever's in the bracket or under the root and if I differentiate what is in the bracket I get something like what's outside the bracket so for example 1a differentiating 2x gives me a constant same for b for 1c differentiating x squared gives me an x term for d, differentiating t cubed gives me the t squared term, and so on. Um, so you can consider, and I'll show you later on, how we can consider using differentiation to do these. It's not the case for all substitution ones, and we'll show you one of those later on. Uh, so this is how we do it then. Here's my integral. I, I like to use i equals because I'm going to do something and then come back to what the question was. And I never like to just write something else unconnected and then equals there when I'm referring to something that's further up. It's much better to write that there. But I'll come back to that later on. I'll clean that off. So let u equals the bracket. Let u equal 2x plus 1. What I will also need is to substitute for the dx and how I do that. Uh, I'll do it this once only but I'll show you later on what we write. Uh, we're going to differentiate the expression to get du over dx equals 2, the differential of the function, but what I'm actually going to do, I don't want this version, I want to write du equals 2 dx. We treat this as a fraction and we cross multiply to get that. And in reality I can go from that, that part of it, u equals 2x plus 1, to this, du equals 2 dx straight away. Just write differential of u is du, differential of that is 2 times dx. So in future we can go from that to that. Um, what I can do to help me out, and it, it's handy for some of the harder ones later on, is rewrite my integral so I've got 2dx there. I can substitute for that for the du, whatever this expression here is nice to have here. And so I can split the 20 up as 10 times 2dx, and then I've got the 2x plus 1, the bracket there to the power of 4. And I'm off and running. I can now write as uh, the 10 still there, 2x plus 1 is u, so times u to the 4, and then the 2dx becomes du. So all I'm doing now is a year 12 um, integration. I <laughs> nearly differentiated then. We've all done that, haven't we? Uh, year 12 integration. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, 10, uh, u to the 5 over 5 uh, plus c, which is 2u to the power of 5 plus c. And that's my answer. No, it's not, because that's in terms of u. What I need to do with my integral is rewrite it, back in terms of x. So 2 plus of 2x plus 1 to the power of 5 plus c. That's my answer. Now, um, what I could have done is, because I know that outside is just a constant multiple of the bracket, I could have considered the, the function here, the 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, and if I had 1 to the power to get this sort of expression, I could have considered differentiating 2x plus 1 to the power of 5 times by the power, not 1 off the power, and times by the differential of the, of the bracket by the chain rule to get almost my answer there. This would have given me 10 lots of 2x plus 1 to the 4. So I know that the integral of that would have been this, and I don't want to integrate 10 of it, I want to integrate 10 and 20 of it, so the answer would have been 2 lots of that, which is what I got. So in the case of some of these, I can, these ones in question one, all of these ones in question one actually, I could have considered doing some differentiation, sort out my constant at the end like that. It's not a bad way to do it if you're not comfortable with that at the moment. Um, and similarly for the last one, I'm going to do the last one in question one, 1g. One I've got a fractional expression. Uh, the integral is 4y over 3 minus y squared all squared dy. Exactly the same process, let u equals the bracket, differentiate it to get du, as we said before, skipping out the middle part, equals minus 2y 
dy, so treat as a fraction and cross multiply like that, uh, and then back to my integral and rewrite it so on the top I've got minus 2y dy there, I can do that substitution. So to make it the same I need to have minus 2 there to get me the 4y, and I've still got the 3 minus y squared, y squared. And so when I substitute it then, uh, I've still got the minus 2, so I've got minus 2, that becomes du, and over 3 minus y squared becomes u squared. So let's remember that I'm actually now, what we said in, in year 12, when I've got fractional or negative powers, it's probably not a bad idea to rewrite it like this. And then I can add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power, plus c, so I've got 2 over u plus c, and rewrite it. Don't forget to substitute back in terms of y in this case, 3 minus y squared plus c, and there's my integral. Nice and straightforward. Um, question 2 and question 3, though, are very much substitution. I could have done all the question 1 by inspection, I could have thought about something that differentiated and got my answer straight away. Now, doesn't work for question 2, doesn't work for question 3, because the function outside the bracket isn't a direct differential of what's inside it. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to think about that, and stick a times by x there. It doesn't work. Differentiation doesn't work like that. You end up with a product. Um, so in this case here, um, I have to do my substitution, and I have to do something else with it as well, because of that x there. The x is causing issues. If that had been 2x squared in the brackets, then what is outside is a straightforward differential of it, apart from the constant. So I'm still going to do let u equal 2x plus 1. I'm still going to do du equals 2dx, which is fine and dandy. But because that substitutes x appears in the bracket, that will be u. The dx I can substitute for something involving du. But here, what I also need to do with this let u equal 2x plus 1 is make x the subject. And to be honest, because I can see I've got even numbers knocking around, I'll leave it as 2x the subject, like that. And what I can now do with my integral is rewrite it. I need to have that 2dx at the end, so that makes it not 32x but 16x, um, but I'm also going to write that 16x as 8 times that 2x, and I'm going to substitute there, and then the bracket, the 2x plus the 1, all cubed. So what have I got then? 8 times 2x u minus 1, times 2x plus 1 all cubed, which is times u cubed du. And what I've now got is a year 12 integration, but with two terms in. Uh, I can take the 8 out of the front, I can deal with that later on. I've got u to the 4 minus u cubed du. And it becomes 8. I didn't need the bracket, but I put it in anyway. u to the 5 over 5 minus 8 u to the 4 over 4 plus c. It was a show with that from memory. Um, So I'm going to have the 8 over 5, and u to the power of 5, I can substitute back to get the 2x plus 1 to the power of 5, and then minus 2, 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, plus c. They wanted it simplified as, as a product expression, so I'm going to put it under a common denominator, and take out the 2x plus 1 to the power of 4, all over the 5. I can deal with the fact I've got evens later on. So I've got 8 times the bracket, and then minus 10, because 5 times 2, uh, and then plus c. Uh, and I'm almost there now. I can take out a factor of 2. So I've got 4 times the bracket, minus 5. So I've got 4 times 2x. 8x, I've got 4 times 1 plus 4 and then minus the 5 to get minus 1 and plus c and that was to show that. So in that case there, because of this extra term, I, there's nothing that differentiated to give me that straight away. So I have to follow it through but I have to substitute exactly where x appears in 1, 2, 3 different places here, um, rewrite it, get down to a year 12 integration, that's what substitution does. Something that can't be done at the moment, although the other ones could but slightly differently. This one can't be done any other way. D 
do write substitution, get down to something that can be done, that we've done in the past, integrate it, substitute back so it's in terms of x, and tidy up our answer there. And that's how we do integration by substitution.